couple of hours to the elders and apostles of the most on Shalom also to the one dirt Israelites, which include uh, Judah's children and so-called Nephites, Latinos and Indians, who are still oppressed together, according to the book of Jeremiah 50, uh, 32, that whom so lay pretended to adoption, the giving of the law, the promises, the glory and the covenants, according to the book of Romans, chapter 9. Okay. Um, we will read um, the 11 be uh, health benefits of incense, how incense can improve your well-being. Okay, um, we will not read all points, you know, it's just too much. Maybe we will do two lessons out of it, I don't know. Yeah, maybe, yeah, I can't, we will do that. So let's start with um, one, two, and three. And then we will go on to some scriptures and then the next um, phase of the video um, lesson will be the second um, part we will go then into the rest of the points okay we will start with um, yeah even even with the with the title you know basically uh, auto mia tron okay which sounds like she's some uh, I don't know uh, Vietnamese or so you know or not not more about you know maybe some uh, from Vietnam or so you know uh, over there you know she can be as well light you know who knows basically so <clears throat> incense has been used for centuries for um, both spiritual and medical uh, medicinal purposes modern science is only now beginning to understand the many health benefits of incense okay, and you have to be careful of course also with incense even you know I have to I can say that out of experience because sometimes you know uh, you don't really know what you burn, man, you know, just like it says, you know, and when it's about science also, you know, science really doesn't know what's, what's in these plants, you know, that much. They can do experiment after experiment, but really you don't know, you know. It's just the same as if you go into these animals, you know, you will find animals and you will find, you know, just you have an example right there, man, how, how much they know about the sea, or how much of the sea they know, okay? That's your example right there, and it's just the same with plants and uh, flowers, you know, and incense. So, uh, you know, what they do with your body and stuff, you know. Modern science is only now beginning to understand the many health benefits of incense. Incense can improve mood, reduce stress, and promote relaxation. It, is, uh, it also has antibacterial and antifungal properties, you know, just like doing these lessons, you know, sometimes it's just uh, relaxing actually, you know, making it a great natural way to keep your home healthy, whether you use incense for this aromatherapy, for its aromatherapy benefits or as a natural alternative to traditional air freshness, there are plenty of reasons to start using it today, read on to uh, learn more about the health benefits of incense. Okay, some of the benefits are, okay, and we will uh, especially not, let's click one of, uh, uh, of uh, let's click at one of it, okay, and it comes out the same order, you see, so it doesn't, so nothing happens if we um, click on one of these benefits here, but let's read them, promote relaxing, relaxing and calmness, improving mood and uh, relieving depression symptoms, Increasing uh, increases con concentration, good for meditation and yoga. Helps improve sleep. Relief. Um, Salachim, my lips a little bit dry. Um, I have to buy a uh, labello. Uh, more. Okay. Um, helps improve sleep. Okay. Um, relief. Uh, respiratory. Elements such as colds, bronchitis, okay, bronchitis, bronchitis, antimicrobial uh, microbial properties, enhance reproductive function, create a more in inviting and relaxing atmosphere in the home, purify the air, effective order removal, uh, repel insects. Um, can I will think, you know, I think we will go into some scriptures and then we will. Um, we will stop at this point of the video because I don't feel uh, basically I feel a little bit sick you know for today so let's let's do it like that you know so let's go into Exodus um, 
dirty, exit is dirty, 7 to 9. Can you read um, 7 to 9? <laughs> uh, and Aaron shall burn their own sweet incense every morning when he dressed the lamps, he shall burn incense upon it. And when Aaron lighted the lamps at even, he shall burn incense upon it, a uh, perpetual incense before the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Okay, or praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Bashem Kirkudash throughout your generations. Okay, so. Uh, you know, it can be that the same the same incense will be burned in the kingdom at the Lord's temple, you know, at the Lord's uh, holy place, or um, you know, or however, you know, we don't know exactly um, all the details of all the um, rooms that are in the kingdom and all, you know, we don't we don't know basically nothing, you know, like it's written, nobody saw and heard, and uh, you know, let's get it also. Um, you shall offer no strange incense thereon, okay, so he's really also really, you know, uh, serious about, you know, what what is uh, needed, you know, especially in the uh, Holy of Holies, because if you think about it, you know, um, also there were uh, two, two um, Levites that um, basically brought wrong incense, and guess what happened, man, they died um, right on, right on uh, in that minute, man, you know. So no burnt sacrifice, no meat offering, neither shall we, shall we pour drink offering thereon, you know. So uh, let's get one, you know, um, nobody saw, okay. nobody saw, nobody heard, heard, kingdom, uh, yeah, come. I don't know how to find uh, this verse the best way. Oh, let's let's you know let's let's um, let it there you know according to the custom of the Christian who was chosen in the temple of the Lord and burned incense. Luke one nine. You know, and if you read it in a King James Version, well, let's get it real quick. You know, before I close the video, uh, Luke 1 9. Because actually, I feel really sick today. I'm wondered, uh, I was wondering already how I made it to actually work today at my job, you know. Um, Luke 1 at 9, according to the custom of the priest's office, his lot was to burn incense when he went into the temple of the Lord. Khan. Uh, verse 10. And the whole multitude of the people were praying without at the time of incense. And there appeared unto him an angel and the Lord uh, of the Lord standing on the right side of the altar of incense. And when Zachariah saw him, he was troubled and fear fell upon him. Okay. Um, so it's interesting, of course, this topic, you know, there are also scriptures about, um, you know, I don't want to uh, smell or I don't want to have your incense anymore, you know, when we fell, you know, basically, you would think like that because we all fell as a people, every tribe, every, you know, tribe on its own, you know. So with that, I praise this to Yahweh, you know, because we're still in that time, you know, where Yahweh um, basically, um, you know, um, Keeping us, the hopefully elect from from the rest of the world, basically he um, still holds us basically down, if you will, you know, because we're still here. These change of uh, chains of darkness, you see. That's basically the point. So, for example, if you're a Levite and you burn incense right now, it's just like you pray, okay? You know that he is listening and stuff, you know. But sometimes he doesn't answer, you know. But in the kingdom, it will be all different, you know. There will be a, your answer right there, man. Okay, also there. You know, also the incense will be will be real incense again, if you will. You know, sure.